this is Tasha with Butterfield Alpaca Ranch. One of the most frequently asked questions I receive is, why do you even own alpacas in the first place? So I'm doing a series right now, after 10 years of alpaca ownership, my top 10 reasons why I chose alpacas. Reason number nine why I own alpacas. Their care is pretty simple. And being someone who grew up in the city, never owned livestock before, I wasn't used to taking care of livestock. It was all new to me. Their care being simple was very appealing. So what I find now is that on average, it takes about an hour a day for one person to do chores. And chores are gonna vary throughout the year for me. Right now we're in winter, so it's one of the more laborious times of the year for chores because we feed alfalfa. We'll make sure everyone gets extra alfalfa. Uh, that's a choice that I do make on my farm is that I feed alfalfa in the wintertime. In the summertime, it takes longer because there's beans to clean up in the barn. In the winter, we have bedding down and in the spring, we do a really big cleanup, clean that all out. After that, then I am cleaning up beans from the barn every day. Uh, now in spring, and fall, there's less to do because they're more outside or more in the pastures. So they'll use their bean piles out in those areas. But in the summer, it's hotter. They like the shade more. So it kind of varies. Uh, and they're also drinking more water more in the summer. So there's more puddles in here from them peeing. So there is more cleanup to do. And it just varies depending on the time of year. Um, in the summertime, I'll also water them down because they get very hot. The fiber is super, super warm. And so it's like wearing a sweater in the middle of summer when they have, you know, however many inches they've grown out of their coat. And so I water them down to keep them cool. They handle the winter much better than the summer. So we help keep them cool by watering them down regularly. Other than that, I put, oh, I do feed them a supplemental feed. I do leave out minerals that they can have free choice whenever they want. And that's pretty much it. There are very few illnesses or diseases to be concerned about. We do run fecal samples on a regular basis just to check for parasites and treat only what is present in a specific animal. We don't broadly deworm the herd. That actually doesn't do any good. You test each animal, you treat each animal for what they do we do not have. Well, I guess you wouldn't treat an animal that didn't have parasites. You treat the animals that do, and you treat for the specific parasites that they have. Um, but those don't take very much. You don't do them maybe once a month, um, depending on what you choose for your farm, but once a month is a, is a good gauge. Uh, once a month we do herd health days, so we check their toes, we give ivermectin shots as a preventative for the meningeal worm. We um, do body scores to see if they're overweight or underweight. That's when we would take a fecal sample and run those. Um, but all in all, I don't think it's a lot of work. Now I've not owned other animals besides ones you'd have for pets like cats or guinea pigs. I had those growing up. But I've not had sheep or goats or horses or anything like that. So I can't make a direct comparison between alpacas and another animal. All I can say is their care is pretty straightforward. Daily is very simple, monthly is pretty simple. And especially once you get into a routine and you know what you're looking for, you, you have, you're very familiar with what you're doing, things go pretty quickly. And if you have help, see what made this appealing for me is I am a single woman doing this whole thing. And for the first seven years that I had alpacas, I was all on my own. I did everything by myself. Now I have family that live in the area and they come and help from time to time. Doing winter chores, I have my dad or my great uncle helping me. Last winter, my brother was around and he was helping me Actually, he did a lot of the chores last winter, which allowed me to work at the fiber mill. All to say, I've had help recently, which has made it so much easier 
that chores, instead of taking an hour for myself, might take 30 minutes, it might take 20 minutes, depending on how many people I have here helping me. Uh, so that's a lot easier. Come and take 30 minutes out of your day, you're done. You know, I check everybody, I put coats on whoever needs it, that kind of thing. Um, but I love it. I love it. I love this kind of life. So <laughs> what do you think? Do you own alpacas? Do you think their care is simple? Comment down below and let me know. I'll see you in the next video.